Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 EVS chapter 13, a reverse tale textbook explanation and solutions. The purpose of this video is to make kids understand the answers given or just for reference only. Students are highly recommended to write their own answers. Kids, we all know that water is important thing for all the human and uh, other living beings to survive. We get uh, water from river, rain, uh, lake, pond and also ocean. In this, we are going to see about river in detail. Look carefully at the picture given. You are going to write a story based on the words given here. Like boat, flowing water, blue fish, water plants, river, foul smell, big ship, oil, river banks, factories, washing clothes, animals, other work, change city. These are the words given. From this, you are going to write a story and give a title for your story. I have written a sample for you. Story of a river. Once upon a time, there was a river with full of clear blue water and lots of fishes. Water plants were also present which provided good atmosphere for the aquatic animals. A factory was started near the river and a city grew up near it. Goods required for the factory were supplied through the river with the help of big ship. Oil spills and effluents from the factory were discarded into the river. People from the nearby cities also bathed their animals and washed clothes in the river. This made the river foul smelling and filthy forever. It was no longer a river with clear water. You can make your own story and give a title. Look at the picture and answer the following questions. Observe the picture carefully. We are going to answer the following questions based on this picture. Here you can see fishes lying around few places there are many fishes and uh, few places there are dead fish. What is the color of the uh, river where it begins? The color of the river appears blue at the place where it begins. At some places there are many fish and at some places only a few and at some places there are dead fish. What could be the reason for this? Because fish survive only in fresh and clean water. But near the villages and towns, people pollute water by throwing poisonous waste and garbage. This makes the water unfit for the fish and as a result, fishes die. What can be seen in the river before it reaches the village? A large number of fish can be seen in the river before it reaches the village. At which places did the color of the water in the river change? Why did this happen? The color of the water and the river changes when it enters a city, town or village. This happens because the industrial waste, garbage and sewage are thrown into it which make it highly polluted. At the, at the starting uh, where the river starts, it will be pure, it will be in blue color. When it enters uh, the city or town, it becomes polluted and hence the color changes. Which of the places shown in the picture would you like to live in? Why? You can write where you would like to live in. It can be a place where you get fresh air and fresh water. Next question. What you like to change any of the things that you see in the picture? So, what you can do is you can remove the waste so that the water will be clean and fit for consumption. Next question. Have you seen people throwing different things into the river or water bodies? Yes, you can see coins, ashes of dead humans, religious statues in water. You would also see uh, that people throw garbages in the river water. Next, what could be done to keep rivers clean? Discuss. What can be done? People should not wash their clothes and bath their animals in the river water. The sewage and industrial waste should not be dumped directly into the river. Both sewage and industrial waste should be first treated to remove the harmful chemicals before dumping into the rivers. By this way, you can uh, keep the river clean. If you wanted to drink some water, from which part of the river would you like to drink? Why? As I already said, the water from the beginning of river will be pure and it will be in blue color. So, you can drink the water from the beginning part of the river which will be pure, clean and safe for drinking. The last picture of the river flows into the sea. Have you ever seen the sea where? In a movie or somewhere else. 
So, after at last the river mixes with the sea. We all know that the final destination of river is it, it mixes with the sea water. So, yes, you would have seen a, a sea water mixing in, sorry, river water mixing in sea. You can write whether you saw it in movie or not. Have you ever been near, near a river or sea when there is a river in my native and I visit it when I go there? So, you can write whether you have seen a river or sea near your place. Show with your hands how the waves in the sea move. Sea waves move up and down. Is the water from the sea drinkable? Why? No, you cannot uh, drink the water from the sea because it is very salty. Do you think that there would be changes taking place in the river, pond or a stream at different places of the different times of the year? What kind of changes would these be? Discuss. Yes, uh, there would be changes. For example, in uh, hot uh, summers, the water level of rivers, ponds or streams decreases due to evaporation of water. In rainy season, the water level of all the water bodies rises. In winter, the water uh, body freezes due to very cold condition. These are the changes that happen at different times of year. Next, what Will there be the same amount of water in the ponds or rivers during the rainy season or in summer? They have given the same question in different form. You can write, no, there will not be the same amount of water in rainy season and in summer. Because water will be more during rainy season than in summer. Is there a pond, river or lake near your own town or city? You can write whether yes or no. Are there any changes in the water during summers? You can observe and write. You can write the water level of the river is quite low when compared to rainy season. What are the different kinds of fish found there? There are many kinds of uh, fishes of different sizes like uh, shark, salmon, catfish, bluefish, squid etc. So next what kind of trees and plants grow around it? You can see algae, aquatic plants, uh, water plants, uh, thick trees and bushy plants also grow around it. What are the kinds of birds that come there? Uh, the birds like eagle, crow, swan etc. come there. Have you ever seen or read about floods where? Yes, uh, you would have uh, read uh, about floods in some areas. You can mention the name. I have mentioned that as uh, Kerala. What happens when there is a flood? All the houses, roads, fields get covered by water. It becomes very difficult for people to survive at such places. Have you seen dirty water in a river or pond? You can write yes or no. Next question. How would you know if the water is dirty? If the water looks clean, can you be sure that it is alright to drink that water? If the water does not look clean, it will be like uh, dirty. No, uh, if the water is uh, looks clean, even then we cannot sure that it is alright to drink that water. You have to check how it is uh, pure. You, uh, with, uh, by uh, seeing, you cannot judge whether it is pure or clean. How does water become dirty? You can see in the picture that... Uh, there are people who are washing clothes, bathing animals and cleaning utensils. Many of these activities made the water dirty. The water in the river kept changing as it flowed through various places. Water in ponds and lakes also become dirty due to similar reasons. From where do you get drinking water? A river or a lake? So, you can write where you get drinking water. Either it is river or lake. Do you think that like the river in the picture, your river or lake can also be affected? Yes, uh, it, might, it will be affected. Next, we are going to try this uh, experiment. Take 5 or 6 glasses or bottles. Also take the items like salt, sugar, cooking soda, haldi, flour and dal. And uh, second, we uh, will be taking lemon juice, soap water, sherbet and oil. And 
after doing this we are going to write the observation take five or six glasses or bottles for this activity you will need certain things from your home you uh, first i am going to take salt sugar cooking soda haldi flour and uh, dal take about half a te teaspoon each fill about half of each uh, bottle or glass with water make sure that all have the same amount of water now one by one put each of the things in the water mix each uh, thing in the water and see what happens i have uh, added salt sugar then i'm going to add a uh, cooking soda next is um, haldi which is turmeric powder then you can take any flour it can be a, a corn flour um, wheat wheat flour or maida then i have added uh, dal mix each thing in the water and see what happens stir completely well see um, sugar uh, dissolved completely in water salt also dissolved completely in water cooking soda uh, dissolved haldi dissolved and um, uh, flour uh, it is not dissolved and dal does not dissolve you can see uh, there is a color change in um, uh, haldi and um, soap water and flour all these change the color of the water observe it carefully next we are going to take lemon juice soap water sherbet and oil and see if it changes uh, or it dissolves in water first i'm going to add uh, lemon juice then i i'm going to add uh, soap water then uh, one spoon of uh, sherbet and then next oil mix each thing in the water and see what happens so i'm going i'm mixing each uh, item in the water first observe the changes lemon juice completely dissolved in water and the water that does not change its color soap water is also completely dissolved but um, there is a slight change in color of water sherbet is completely dissolved and it, it uh, changed the color oil is not dissolved you can see the oil floating on water the color of the water is not changed these are the observations made and we are going to fill a table from this observation what did you observe put tick mark in the right places first we'll see which all dissolved in water sugar salt lemon juice haldi soap water sherbet cooking soda all these dissolved in water which does not dissolve in water flour dal oil did not dissolve in water color of water changes are haldi soap water flour sherbet cooking soda changed the color of the water which did not change the color of the water sugar salt lemon juice dal and uh, oil did not change the color of the water do all things dissolve in water no does the color of the water always change no the color of the water does not always change did oil dissolve in water how can you say whether it does dissolved or not no do oil does not dissolve because it was floating in the water color of the water may not change even after some things are dissolved in it would you say that these are absent in water things which are dissolved in water are always present in water dissolved meaning is uh, it is not visible but the uh, things are present in water imagine how it would be if things like sugar salt lemon juice sherbet could not dissolve in water if all these things dissolve, does not dissolve in water we cannot uh, prepare anything like uh, cool drinks coffee tea we cannot prepare any any food items like this imagine how it would be if things like stones chalk plastic and uh, garbage would dissolve in water if these dissolve in water they become uh, the water dirty and it will be harmful 
Next, we are going to see how to clean the drinking water. We clean drinking water in many ways. We are going to see how is drinking water cleaned. We use a uh, electric water purifier to clean drinking water at our home. Next, find out many other different ways of cleaning water at home. You can either boil the water, you can either add alum to water. Alum is a chemical compound which we add in water and we can also add a uh, chlorine. Uh, it actually uh, makes the water uh, clean, not uh, if we cannot say it is pure by filtering water using water purifiers. These are the different ways where you can clean water. Draw pictures showing any two ways of cleaning the water. See first picture uh, shows that it is boiling the water. One method is boiling the water and second we use filtering, purifier, water purifier. So by these two ways you can clean the water. So chapter uh, 13 river tales ends here. Hope you all uh, like this video. I have also made the experiment. Please do comment. We will see in the next video. Thanks for watching.